CAPA is a center for advanced photonics and process analysis. Photonics is a science of light. Photonics is used to carry out information in optical fibers for the internet, but it's also used in medical imaging to look at, for example, at the eye, to see if the eye is healthy or not. Uh, it's also used for detecting explosives. For example, if there is some explosive here, you cannot smell it, but if you use light, you can detect the presence of explosives. The process analysis really kind of covers a wide range of techniques and applications in manufacturing processes. So any manufacturing line from something that makes two brushes to cars, there has to be various inspection points as you go along. Most people have heard of machine vision where you use cameras to take pictures and rather than having somebody look at the line. So the work we're doing here is, is beyond that. Typically what we're looking at is areas where we use light to actually interrogate the sample so it tells us something chemically about it. So this is one of the pieces of equipment that we use every day to investigate the various problems that we deal with here in Kappa. This is a spectrometer. So it's effectively a light source that we shine on the particular sample that we want to investigate. And we look at the light that comes back from the sample. And then by interpreting the information we get, we can tell information about the sample itself. It's important that the sample that you look at corresponds to the sample that the manufacturer wants to put out in the, in the marketplace. And it's also a good way of verifying that their product is up to scratch. We are working within this week with um, pharmaceutical companies, food industry, and also medical device companies. And at the same time, we are developing applied research in semiconductor laser and in photonics. And in Tyndall, we are part of the Photonic Center. The Photonic Center has about 100 people. Tyndall has a huge facility which gives us an advantage when we work with industry. We cannot do the concept, but we can make the design, the prototype, and bring value for the company. In our group, we have a collaboration with the best group in the world. We are collaborating with universities like Stanford, UCLA, the Technical University of Berlin. So people who come with us have the opportunity to take an academic career and to go with your other European groups. On the inside, the technology looks all the same to us because this is what we do day to day, but what we apply it to is different. The sectors are quite broad that we work with. I mean, we have about 20 staff between PhD students and, and researchers. So if you looked on a one-to-one -one basis, there's almost one company per person. And some of our graduates are taking jobs, for example, in Stryker or in Alcon, uh, where we have projects. The European Commission has defined photonics as a key enabling technology. Photonics can help you to detect gas, to look at medical devices, solar cells. All of these are based on photonics, so you are learning a technology which is going to be used in, in many applications. And there's also the opportunity to work on some very interesting problems to provide useful solutions to companies so that they can you know, improve their products or processes. As well as doing the research and doing the technology development, we're also as well developing uh, people's careers and helping them gain the skills to move directly into industry. Mm -hmm.